Our car tester, Emmanuel Schaefer, says many VW models today are based on the modular transverse platform known as MQB. In 2015, VW began also developing a modular electrification toolkit platform, or MEB. It's the basis for VW's ID Buzz and ID. And even though the MEB and ID are still under development, we've been given a sneak peek at the state of the ID. The ID is already being street tested so far. It's got a rather limited range of 15 kilometers and a top speed of just 30 kilometers an hour. But set to launch in 2020, there's still plenty time for improvements. VW plans to increase the ID's range to between 400 and 600 kilometers and boost its top speed to 160 kilometers an hour. Its electric motor delivers an output of 125 kilowatts directly to the rear axle. Its headlights are best described as interactive LED elements. They allow the car to signal to other cars and pedestrians. It can, for example, signal pedestrians to cross the street. The ID has no side mirrors. They've been replaced by cameras. And with a wheelbase length of 2.75 meters, it ranks just behind the much larger VW Passat. Emmanuel likes the well-thought-out interior design of the ID. You can easily fold the seating up, creating an abundance of vertical storage space, giving you room to transport plants, folding bikes, and the like. And this here is a really neat feature, a pocket where you can put things like magazines. On the door, you'll find controls for the windows, seats, the car's hi-fi system, and air conditioning. Emanuel says VW has also integrated a retractable steering wheel in this prototype. As promised, place your hand over it and it emerges, allowing the driver to manually steer the ID. And once you retract the steering wheel, the vehicle switches into fully automatic ID pilot mode which won't be available until 2025, however. So it won't feature in the ID when it's launched. It's got a pretty stiff suspension, so you tend to feel even small road bumps. Extremely large rims and very thin tires don't help either. The ID's rear is inspired by the VW Golf with a futuristic twist. It has slim rear lights that flare up when braking along with additional LEDs. They're almost invisible to the eye when the car is stationary. And this illuminated saucer may one day contain a sensor system for autonomous driving. Currently, the ID's gas pedal seems to allow just two things, either acceleration or standstill. Touching the pedal jerks it forward. Taking your foot away breaks it just as abruptly. That's not due to recuperative braking. The ID prototype doesn't have that. VW has some pretty ambitious plans. In future, the ID is supposed to recognize drivers and automatically adjust its setting to their preferences. It will automatically park and even be able to accept parcels. One major issue remains, however. There are still too few charging stations. In Germany, there are only 6,000 such stations with less than 10% fast charging. Emmanuel says that with the ID set to launch in 2020, VW and other car makers still have plenty of time to increase the number of charging stations.